On this episode, tune in tonight for Dusty Jobs. I've been on a lot of rocky roads. Man, there is so much stuff here. But I've never tried to make the roads less rocky. This comes together, it's like wily e. Coyote stuff, you know? First, I'll have to attend the School of Hard Rocks. Rehearsal. To learn the basics of ropes, gravity, teamwork. So it looks worse than it is. And courage. If something wasn't right, you'd already be at the bottom. I'm in Ojai, California, learning the ropes of repelling so I can assist a crew of dedicated Caltrans workers who keep the rest of us safe from roadside avalanches. Yeah, so there it is. Uh, welcome back. If you're just joining us, we're learning how to repel today. So tomorrow we can go to a similar site and get giant boulders out of the way so they don't roll down the hill and smash cars. The training exercise takes place right there. You can see the three towels spread across the top. I don't know why they have three towels there, but I can only imagine it's because Doug and uh, Nick and I uh, will be practicing in that very spot. Okay. Dan, what are you shooting? Uh, I got a tight on me. And the camera's not on, actually. Camera's not even on, and he's not a cameraman. How's that for disclosure? <laughs> you look good, though. It's a short distance, but I was just wanted to get the feel for what we're doing in the morning. They say that half the fun is getting there. I say that depends entirely upon where you're going. So now you can approach the edge and take a peek over the side. Uh. So it looks worse than it is. And what I always tell students, especially new students who, who haven't climbed a whole lot, is to focus on the things that you can control, right? The things that are right here in your office. As offices go, I got to admit, this is a good one, but it occurs to me that while defying gravity is always fun, it is, at base, an act of defiance. And no matter how many times you do it, there's no getting around the fact that stepping off the side of a mountain is almost never a good idea. How you feel? Super. Great. All right, so we, we always do a buddy check, right? We, we check some basic stuff. For example, the locking carabiners are truly locking. Mm -hmm that the teeth are biting nicely on your ascender, that the ascender is rigged, and that the knots are tied properly with tails showing, that the daisy chain is cinched properly. Let me see your eight. Your eight is rigged correctly with, for right-handed repel. Mm -hmm. Locking carabiners locked. Okay, so all that being done, you are actually ready to repel. It's not natural for the human to lay himself over a 90-foot cliff at all. It's no. really not. It's almost as though you're giving the finger to, uh, you know, instinct, gravity. This is when your gear and your knowledge of strength reassures you that it's okay to do that. Or your lack of gear and your inexperience reminds you that you're making a profound, foolhardy, and irrevocable <laughs> mistake. Not that anything's gonna happen. No, what could possibly happen? What could happen? I can't, nothing comes to mind. Nothing at all. Okay, it's that first step up, man. Mm -hmm. <sighs> if something wasn't right, you'd already be at the bottom. You really are a glass half full kind of guy, man. All right, let's go. Nice and easy. Steady. Heels to the rock. To the rock. Yeah, we're going over the edge. When we come back, we'll, we'll, we'll be on the bottom. We're going to go ahead and go to a commercial right now, and you're going to miss all the exciting stuff. So there. They probably won't use that. <laughs> this isn't my first day at the rodeo. I've washed windows on high rises and painted bridges and dangled from ropes a lot longer than this one. But personally, I've never gotten used to taking that first step, and probably never will. I don't know what it looks like, but it, it, honestly, it's not normal. If you ever have a chance to do it, it's not like the rock wall in the gym. <laughs> no, You're looking great. Man. Don't, don't make it weird, man. <laughs> you should look down sometime, Doug. Good for you. Yeah. They make it look like fun, and to be honest, it is, sort of. But remember, this isn't the job. This is the thing you have to do in order to do the job. So in overhangs, it's, it's even more important to be perpendicular to the rock. You're going to put your face right in it. Exactly. Watch those knees. I think you're in worse shape than I am. I am, but I can do this. Look at you, Spider-Man. Jump. 
Wow. Yeah, I don't see that happening for me. While Steve gently glides through the air like that feather on the way to the ground in Forrest Gump, I imitate the senior citizen looking for the bathroom in a strange hotel room at 3 in the morning. That's it. Beautiful. All right, then. That wasn't bad, right? That's your first one, so that, that's always the hardest. It's fun. Yeah, it is fun. This is really just an excuse for you guys to come out and do what you like, isn't it? <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Do they actually pay you for this? Yes, they do. But you, you guys are volunteering. You guys are all employees, but you're basically volunteering Correct. for this. Correct. We volunteer to climb, yes. It's not mandatory, but somebody gets to do it. If somebody gets to do it. There you go. All right, let's go back and do it again, huh? What's the point in that? <laughs> We're gonna keep hanging out and doing what we do here, and then we're gonna go home and rest up, and then we're gonna come back tomorrow and do the show. Good? It's a plan. It's a plan. Okay. It's all gonna happen after the commercial, so we're clear. So you don't go anywhere. We're gonna take a break. Well, good morning. It's the next day, and uh, we are here, and here is there, basically. We're going to be uh, going all the way up there, I suppose, <laughs> and knocking these rocks down. Does this specific ridge have a name? Uh, that's a good point. I don't know it. Hey, Bob, does this have a site name? It's just the Paved Detour. That's Paved Detour is the name of the site. <laughs> we got to do better than that, man. I can know. It be so like, can it be like oh, Heartbreak uh, Ridge like or... Dead Man's Curve. Dead Man's Ooh, Curve Dead Man's is nice. Curve. <laughs> that's good. So we're here at Heartbreak Ridge, formerly known as Dead Man's Curve, where the stakes couldn't be higher. The men are dressed in vibrant yellow and neon. It's going to be very exciting. Did you look at a shot yet from that? Very, very typical of a big day before a, for a big shoot, especially when you have a couple of different crews coming together. You know, these guys' safety is obviously very, very important, but everybody in yellow is looking at our guys and waiting for us to get the gear we need. Plus, we've got our gear that we need to do the show, and so it's just a, it's a collision of cultures, uh, not agendas necessarily. We all want the same thing. We all want to go home in one piece. I'm almost certain this was covered in yesterday's six-hour safety briefing. Yesterday was we, we hit the mountaineering component, the climbing component. Right. Today we're going to put those skills to use in doing hand scaling. Right. Okay. And we just basically sweep and clean the slope coming down. Are we so, talking about boulders that big coming down? The yes. Potentially we're going to evaluate that and if we can we'll, we'll remove them. <laughs> what you're going to see is we'll come over, we'll start scaling, we'll, we'll do the edge, make sure that uh, we clean all of the edges so that when our ropes lay down on the ground, we don't knock rock down on ourselves. Work down, you'll see the entire team will work basically in the same level yeah. so that we don't have people above and below that are knocking rocks down on each other, especially the guy below. It's really hard to send a rock up. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. So what, what I have is each climber needs, for you, Mike, you're going to get a, a scaling tool. In this case, it's an ice axe that you'll, you'll use to uh, scrape and remove rock. You can scrape it. Mm -hmm. You can use this end to lightly, you know, for light scaling. Right. So this will be the tool you're using and then a 200 foot rope. And you can just wear this on your back. You'll ascend up and we'll get up to the top and we'll go and tie our, our anchors. And then we'll come on down. Once everyone's ready as a group, we'll get the all clear, the roads closed, and we'll start rolling rocks. Great. All right. Just take your time going up. Right. One step at a time. See if I remember any of what I learned yesterday. Rock! Big rock. Big Turn rock! Away. Thank you. The actual job is harder than this. I think we might have problems. Welcome. Thanks. Nice office. Yeah, isn't it? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm allergic to ice. Uh -oh. The job is clearly dangerous, and I'm both flattered and surprised. The state gave us permission to participate with Tom and his crew. We're going to do a figure eight on a bite, if you remember that. Figure eight on a bite? Oh, yeah. Man, you... Well, there's a figure eight. Figure eight. But remember, you take the bite of rope, and then you tie that figure eight. So it's sort of it's going to be like that. And come up like the that back. and like that. Perfect. OK, that's your master point. You hook in. Mm -hmm. We got a locking carabiner here, right? Because right. this is a a life connection, okay? And this is what's gonna be your climbing rope, okay? That's the knot that's gonna save my life? It's not gonna save it, it's gonna keep you safe. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> a lot of lines, man. It is, a lot so of rope. the logistics, the ropes, the, 
it takes a lot to put this together, but <laughs> it is well worth it. it is. All right. Gentlemen, climb on! Climb it! Climb it! And with that, finally, the actual work begins. We can start rolling rocks. Hey! Man, there is so much stuff here. This is the kind of things that oil pans and radiators hate. Yeah, that thing pops up out of the street. Yeah, Straight cool. through your oil pan. Yeah, look how loose all this is. Yep. That's why we do it. So basically, this is erosion, right? Rains. It's weathering of the rock. Sort of rots out, and you got to clean it off and maybe hopefully get down to some better rock. It seems endless in terms right. of like a job, you know? Right, and then, you know, in five, 10 years, when most of the soil's gone and whatnot, we'll come back and we'll do this again. It's, right. It's a maintenance activity. You know what it is? It's job security. Job security, too. I mean, look at the road already, just for the little bit we've done so far. Yeah. How you feeling? Good. Good. You're looking good, too. I don't care what Doug says about you. I appreciate that. Yeah. It's kind of a balancing act, right? Because you got to get, to get the leverage, you need to be behind the rock. Right. But to free the rock after you get the leverage on it, you're in front of the rock. Right. Well, if, if you're scraping, for sure. And yeah. then, you know, you go between your legs, you got that nice chute right there. Right. The rock's not too big. You can just pull it between your legs. But, but you if can... the rock's too big, that's what you call a tragedy. Tragedy. Call it a big rock. <laughs> let's watch. Let's watch him. Okay. Big rock coming down, guys. Get this. It's going all the way to the street. And it's going to go wherever it wants. Look yeah, at that. That's a big one. If scaling looks like real work, it's because it is. Got half a mountain in my mouth. Tune in tonight for Dusty Jobs. But these guys all volunteer for the job. Part of the reason strikes me as obvious. Hey, Tom, yes, tell sir. me something. Yeah. This is fun, isn't it? It is fun. Oh, yeah. See, it's so satisfying, man. It's like a, it's like a scab. Is that wrong to say that? It's like picking a scab. Oh, it's so satisfying. Brian, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's not the first time I've seen a job that offers equal parts danger and fun. Make no mistake, there is something undeniably gratifying about pushing rocks off a cliff. It's addictive. As soon as you roll one down, you gotta have another. This guy's gotta go. Heads up. Got it? Look at that guy. And the next time, it's gotta be bigger. I'm kind of excited about this one. We did some damage there. Yeah, that was good. That one was vaguely satisfying. And then, Tom takes aim at a grown-up target, okay. a bona fide widow maker. We're gonna rappel down past this bush. There's a large uh, spire, boulder there, that right. we wanna take out. Is so, that the guy we're talking about? Yeah. Oh, sweet. Look at that, huh? I hate to be optimistic, but this comes together. It's like wily e. Coyote stuff, you know? Ready? Yep. One, two, three. <laughs> Hold on a minute, let me up a little better. Ready? One, two, three. In every job, there comes a moment when things get personal. I'm not done with you. Like, for instance, when a rock becomes something more than a rock. We're going to get this. We're going to get this shot. No, we have to get it out. And a team becomes something greater than the sum of its parts. Ready, Nathan? Yep. Ryan? Yep. In Greek mythology, Sisyphus was doomed to push a giant boulder up a hill for all eternity. I think maybe he'd appreciate this. One, two, three. Somewhere high above Route 33 in Ojai, California, at a site either called Paved Detour or Dead Man's Curve, depending on who you ask, I'm working with a crew of fearless Caltrans volunteers to make the road safe for democracy, humanity, and soft top convertibles. One, two, three. Let's move. Here it goes. Okay, step to the wall. Get it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm so glad that not held. <laughs> Woo! Good job, guys. Dude, that was awesome. And so we survived the Widowmaker of Dead Man's Curve. But of course, the real hazards are never the obvious hazards. Oh, heads up! Right! Whoa! Oh! 
You all right? Yeah. Did it hit you? Yeah. You got the big one out of the way. And a little four pounder comes down and knocks your teeth out. Watch again just how fast things can go wrong. Doug, our cameraman, lightly brushes a loose rock with his bag. We ought to just... oh, oh, rock. In a second, the rock goes from motionless to 30 miles an hour rock. and smashes into the knee of David Rodriguez. He's okay, but it could have just as easily been his face. Either way, it's all part of the job. I think we got some rocks now. Oh, yeah. So the next time you successfully negotiate the twists and turns of a treacherous mountain road, and look up at the last second to see nothing large and heavy hurtling toward you, remember the guys who have your back, hundreds of feet above your head. Well, this was really cool you guys to let us out here and let us do this, I appreciate it. You did a great job. Got up, came down. We call you a digger. <laughs> <laughs> I've been called much, much worse. Well done, thank Thanks. you very Be much. Be careful. Good Thanks, job. guys, you guys were great, man. Really great. Good job, good job. <sighs> okay, we're done. Oh.